You're tuned into the It's Real podcast with your hosts, Kayla Callender and Andrew Yagi. Each week, we'll talk about what happens behind the scenes working full time in real estate and share with you real life stories, our successes, and failures as we work to help consumers and industry professionals reach their real estate and real life goals. Here we go. Episode 5 of the It's Real Podcast. Hello, I'm Andrew Yegi, and I'm a real estate agent. Hello, I'm Kayla Callender, and I'm a mortgage lender. Kayla, new week, new opportunities, and mm-hmm. uh, daylight savings time. Daylight saving, yes. We are springing ahead. We are starting to see the snow kind of melt away. And it's amazing what just a little bit of a temperature increase does to people that um, are wanting to look at homes. It's like they can't go look at homes when it's snowing, but the moment it gets a little warmer, they come out of the woodworks. Do you see the same thing? I do, although I would argue that it's still pretty cold and I don't know that it's outside of your window, but still a lot of snow and, you know, kind of a, a little bit of a chilly week, maybe some yeah. wintry mix. But I, you know, I, I think it's forecast, you know, March is going to be kind of a little more wet and, and snowy. In fact, I was talking to um, one of my friends who's kind of in the lake dock and lift business the other day, and he said, you know, we're they were running a promotion where, hey, if you can guess on your lake what day the ice is going to be off, you can win a hundred dollars. And so I asked him kind of for his prediction on, you know, lakes in general, and he's like, you know, I think it's probably going to be May first. I think it's going to be a little bit, a little bit late potentially, but I, I guess mm-hmm. it's what it is. Time will tell, but that's a fun little little guesstimate there. I think so. I said, ultimately, I'm probably going to have to go and talk to our year round neighbors who probably realistically yeah. track these things uh, every yeah. year and they'd be able to make a, make a good guess. But I said, probably, you know, someone asked me the other day if I had, um, you know, my March Madness bracket ready to go. Yeah. And I said, you know, I honestly don't watch professional sports, but <laughs> I probably would have, uh, you know, as, as good of a chance as anyone at putting together a winning bracket. Honestly, you could, and you're too busy with other things. You're too busy flying, and you don't, you don't have time to do those brackets. A- absolutely, I would I'd much rather be in in the air, or you yeah. know, talking to someone about aviation. But Kayla, what's going on with you this week, or do you have anything fun coming up? I've actually had some things called closings, which a lot of people haven't had lately because of, well, let's admit the market slowed down. So I've had four closings in the last week, and it's so fun to get back in front of people, to give them their keys, to have them sign on the dotted line and truly make their dreams come true. So I've been pretty busy with closings, but also with new apps still. I'm still seeing these um, come flowing in. I think that as people um, start to see that it's not that they've become numb to rates, but they've become more acceptable of where they're at. They've had the conversations. They're talking to their friends, their family, they're reading online. This is more of the norm. And I think people are finally taking that leap. And so the fun thing that I have are closings because people had gone through that process earlier. So now I'm seeing the activity again and, and people are, are getting excited still. So, yeah, I think you're right. And, you know, I'm starting to see more inventory coming on. I had a closing last week and, and have some uh, additional upcoming this month. I was talking to a, a pretty experienced agent the other day and he was telling me, he said, boy, you know, the market's been pretty brutal, not only for him, but, you know, for some of his clients, his buyers specifically getting beat out on a lot of offers. And he said, man, you know, I've, I've been real estate a long time and have only had about, you know, four closings in, you know, in as many months. And so I think, you know, we're, I'm, I know I'm seeing a lot, a lot of agents that are, that are leaving or going on, you know, to do something yeah. else and saying, Hey, you know, I just, I, I can't weather this storm, but you know, for those that, that can, you know, I'm starting to have a lot more conversations. I set, um, you know, two, two new listings, you know, today that I know I'm going to be putting up down the road. So inventory is coming. Um, but Kayla, I think one thing we should talk about today is, you know, what if you as a buyer, you know, you're looking and maybe that right property isn't out there. Just the other day I had, uh, just yesterday, in fact, had a couple in my office 
um, visiting and, and they're looking to sell. They, they have a property they want to sell. They want to downsize, but they're just not seeing anything that they're liking. Kayla, I've sent out in a couple of specific areas, you know, letters to some specific homeowners, some developments that they like and said, hey, I have a very serious client that would like to buy. I've tried to follow up and make phone calls. Um, haven't gotten any traction yet, but now these individuals they're in and they're starting to talk about something called new construction. Yeah. Do you, are you seeing many people that are coming to you and starting to have conversations um, about looking at something, something new? All the time, regardless of the market. I think that a lot of people have this, this thought of, well, I can't afford new construction first and foremost, but I have a lot of even first time home buyers that their first home is new construction because there are so many different customizable options for you. So what we're seeing, Andy, in this market is that in this market, inventory is not as high as it nearly was probably even, well, let's just say a year ago. So we have people ready to buy. We have people ready to take that leap, but they can't find the home. Mm -hmm. so what we're seeing are people saying, well, what does new construction look like for me? How much would that cost? What's involved? And so I'm seeing a lot more conversation. Um, are you also seeing that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, we're having it a lot more often with people at least exploring options. One of the difficult pieces in my more immediate market is just the fact that there aren't, you know, there aren't a lot of buildable lots within yeah. you know, my more immediate city. And so that's one bottleneck that we're working on addressing is, you know, how do we solve this? Yeah. Because our housing stock's getting older. But um, obviously in the Fargo-Moorhead area where you're at, you know, there people are building like crazy and there are a lot of great options. And, and even with mm -hmm. the number of builders, you have some really attractive price points as well. We do. And I think what's really cool is just depending where you're at in your budget, you still, if this is your first home or your 20th home, the cool part about new construction is that you get to control the location. So if you found a neighborhood with a lot and you you really want to live there, you get to choose your location, then you get to customize what's on that dirt. Mm -hmm. So clients are are saying, you know what? I don't have to deal with competition when I'm when I'm writing an offer. I get to control what I want, the colors, um, the layout, the location. Um, yeah, what comes with that is usually a little bit higher price tag depending on your customization, but we're also seeing warranties given sometimes a year, sometimes two lower insurance because homes are, are brand new. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, is one really cool thing that a lot of people don't know is some lenders will allow you to lock in your rate for a long term. And what's even more um, attractive is that once you lock in, some lenders allow you to float down within a certain time frame if rates get better. So we're seeing clients having the best of both worlds. They get to pick and choose in their price range, and then they get the ability to have lower insurance and a rate that could be customizable as well. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And how, I, I, I mean, are you having more and more of these conversations with people about some of these products as they're kind of looking for options? Yes. Actually, just today I had a meeting with a builder and a brokerage because their clients are a little frustrated with the inventory. So mm -hmm. realtors are doing their due diligence to say, what is out there for my client then? If, if existing homes are not, then what is? And so we're seeing builders have incentives. We're seeing builders, um, some of them are giving incentives so clients can use what you probably heard many times over and over is for a two one buy down where um, the seller or builder can cover um, a reduced uh, interest rate for the client for the first few years. So they're, they're giving incentives and promotions. So it's kind of a win-win right now that we're seeing in our market is you've got clients and, and realtors that are truly find, trying to find a solution mm -hmm. and builders who are saying, we've got lots, we've got homes, we've got, we've got the tools. How can we make this blend and meld together? And we're, we're seeing a lot of people building. Sure. No, fantastic. That's uh, it's really great to talk about and, and to highlight some of those different options because there are probably people that are watching this or listening today that 
you know, they, they are kind of at their wits end, but they really haven't considered, um, you know, new construction. And, you know, even, you know, I'm seeing kind of more in the region here, you know, some pretty affordable options, you know, kind of in the, you know, the, the upper 200,000s, even in, in one of my communities, I've seen, you know, where, um, you know, the, the county or the HRA has gotten involved in, I mean, they're building homes, you know, for 225 to $240,000. And, and there are some stipulations with, with some of the, the home products out there, you know, based on income and the like, but really, um, you know, people kind of, you know, looking for alternative ways to get, buyers into you know more affordable housing and something that that you know fits them as well well i can say that if building is even an idea that you have or if you're struggling as a client or realtor with finding um your customer what they want have a conversation with some local builders and just have something priced out go look at lots go check it out you never you never know what you may discover and also, right now, I'm doing a lot of lot financing. So we have people that are thinking ahead that maybe I don't want to build for another year, but I want to make sure that I build in the location because we hear it all the time, location, location, location. I want to build on that location. So even though I'm not ready today, I'm going to go secure that lot. So when I am ready to pull the trigger, I know I won't have competition when it comes to that area. Sure. Sure. Well, that's a lot of great information, Kayla, um, you know, especially on, on new construction and, and lots are an excellent topic. I think we'll dive into maybe on another episode, well, but are, are there any final thoughts or, or any tips you have for someone if they're listening today and thinking, man, I, I really need to, to dive in and, and start exploring new construction? I would say start with your lender, find out what you're approved for, what your budget is. And then go and have some conversations with a handful of builders. Uh, go check out their models. There's, there's a lot of uh, like parade of homes is coming up. A lot of them have opens throughout the week and on weekends. Go and check out and see what you like. Have those conversations and then see if they can price out a home that you love within your budget and, and just pretty much go from there. See if you want to do it. Sure. Fantastic. And I would say for those of you who are maybe in a more rural area that you don't have a glut of home builders that are building and have all of the different models, you know, reach out to uh, to an agent, uh, you know, of your choosing who probably is connected or who has worked with builders or developers or ultimately in, you know, one of your local home centers or lumber yards to kind of just start talking and looking at ideas and, and kind of make make connections um, with the builder to start the process. Mm -hmm. So, well, Kayla, it's been great connecting as always. As uh, always. Have, have a great week. I will if you will. Oh, oh, oh.